Hello. So today I wanted to do a little bit of an experiment talking about uh, relating smoke point and caramelization of, of two different things, of one, butter, and two, peanut oil. So what I set up here is I have four different, four different frying pans, one with butter, two of them with butter, and two with peanut oil. And what I'm going to do is, so far, I've only had these on for about a minute at a high heat, and I, you can already see that this butter is starting to smoke and, and caramelize on its, on its own. So which, which, is, which sort of makes sense, because the smoke point of butter is typically about 350 degrees, whereas peanut oil is about 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So, over here, I have some diced white onion that I'm just going to put into each frying pan. I just did a regular dice with a 7 inch Santoku knife that I have. So the pan is the pan is very hot and it's heating the and it's heating it's heating the onions up already. And you already notice that there's some some browning going on in the butter already and even in and even in the peanut oil the peanut oil seen here. Now here you have your Mayer reaction going on where your <clears throat> where your amine where your amine groups are combining with your amino acid groups to create these aromatic smells and these scents that everyone thoroughly enjoys. Now I've only had these on for a minute and you can already tell that because the butter because the butter has such a low smoke point it's already starting to it's more or less starting to burn as opposed to caramelize the onions. And as you can see here, this butter has already started smoking, whereas the peanut oil has not. So I'm going to turn off the rear, the rear burner because any fat, if it burns anymore, it's going to start smelling. And, you know, peanut oil, it seems that it's not nowhere near as bad. So, so if I continue to caramelize these as so, you start getting that rich brown color that you, that everyone seems to enjoy in, an, in some caramelized onions. So, I have not turned on the heat. I have not turned on the heat on either one yet, but I'm going to now so I can have a little bit more control of the, of the object. So you can see at this point, I've been caramelizing for the same amount of time, and these are in butter, these are pretty much burnt. Like, I would not want, I personally would not want to eat these. These are a little bit overcooked for me. But, the, but the peanut oil seems perfectly fine. It, you know, it's got a little bit of browning on them. You know, they're nice, they look nice and moist, like they've sweat a little bit, and the caramelization looks, looks very nice. Now, what I've done is I've only put a tablespoon of butter or a butter or a butter or peanut oil in here, and as you can see, the results are you know about to what about what I expected. Since you know the smoke point of butter is so low, or is much lower compared to peanut oil, that you wouldn't you know I wouldn't suggest using peanut oil or sorry wouldn't suggest using butter in a situation where I would need to. Or I would need to stir fry or, or dice something because you're just going to end up burning what you have. Now these are all Teflon fried pans, um, no, nothing special. I don't have any cast iron. Cast iron does heat at a much hotter temperature, which could have gotten me a, a different result. But I did. I dealt with what I had. So, so in conclusion. It seems that how this little experiment went to go is I would prefer to use, well, actually, I prefer to use not much oil at all. Um, onions themselves are able to caramelize, are able to caramelize decently well without the use of butter or, or oil or anything. But if I were to pick one, I would pick peanut oil due to the higher temperature, due to its higher smoke point and more easily caramel, more or its ability to caramelize and brown these a little bit, brown these onions a little bit better. So, but, so we have typical kitchen setup. You know, we have an onion, or sorry, an oven here. 
Um, two separate cutting boards, one for the butter. Uh, I use two separate wooden spatulas for one, one for the peanut oil and one for the butter. This is the type of peanut oil I use, just typical peanut oil. Uh, the butter I used was a was Land O'Lakes butter, you know, what you can find. Here is my diced onion with my nut with my santuku knife and and what's left of the white onion. Typical refrigerator, nice kitchen, nice clean kitchen because I had just cleaned it for for this experiment, which is kind of good. And so there you have it. So, in conclusion, when you when you caramelize something, you have a Mayer react. When you have the Mayer reaction, which combines, which has um, the sugars being reduced and combined with amino acid, with the amino acids, which are in which are in the structure of the onion, which goes through multiple reactions, um, which goes through multiple reactions such as the Amidori rearrangement, uh, the dehydration of everything and the stecker degradation. So at that point, you have your new compound, your new Mayer compound, that is very aromatic, very, very aromatic, you know, and um, very flavorful in what we all desire. So there you have it. Hope you have a nice day.